An AI tool has the ability to identify disparities in brain structure that are related to gender. Greetings everyone. Today we will be delving into an intriguing subject matter in our video. It revolves around a remarkable AI tool that has been developed by the esteemed researchers at NYU Langone Health. This tool possesses the exceptional ability to accurately discern disparities in brain structure between males and females. Through the meticulous analysis of countless MRI brain scans, the AI program has successfully unveiled patterns that are imperceptible to the human eye, effectively distinguishing between the brains of men and women. This groundbreaking advancement holds immense potential in enhancing the precision of diagnostic tools and treatment methods for various neurological disorders. The findings of this study, which have been published in scientific reports, underscore the significance of considering sex-related disparities in brain function within the realms of research and healthcare. Now, without any further delay, let us embark on our enlightening discussion. Differences in the occurrence and manifestation of conditions such as multiple sclerosis, autism spectrum disorder, migraines, and other brain disorders between men and women have been well documented. In order to enhance diagnostic techniques and treatment approaches, it is important to delve into the intricate relationship between biological sex and the brain. Although studies have examined factors like brain size, shape and weight, our understanding of the cellular composition of the brain remains incomplete. Conducted by NYU Langone Health, the recent investigation employed a machine learning method known as AI to examine numerous MRI brain scans obtained from 471 males and 560 females. The outcomes unveiled the computer algorithm's ability to effectively differentiate between male and female brains based on identifying intricate structural patterns that elude human perception. To validate these findings, three distinct AI models were utilized, each leveraging its unique strengths to pinpoint minute areas of white matter or analyze interconnections across broader brain regions in order to determine biological sex. According to Yvonne Louis Maryland, the senior author and neuroradiologist of the study, our discoveries offer a more comprehensive understanding of the structural organization of a living human brain. This newfound knowledge has the potential to shed light on the development of various psychiatric and neurological disorders, as well as the reasons behind their distinct presentations in both men and women. According to Louis, a professor and vice chair for research in the Department of Radiology at NYU Grossman School of Medicine, previous investigations into the microstructure of the brain primarily utilized animal models and samples of human tissue. However, the credibility of certain conclusions drawn from these studies has been challenged due to their reliance on statistical analyses of manually delineated regions of interest. This means that researchers had to make subjective judgments regarding the shape, size and placement of these regions, which introduces the possibility of bias in the findings. According to the authors, the study results, which were published online on May 14th in the journal Scientific Reports, successfully circumvented this issue by employing machine learning techniques to analyze complete sets of images, eliminating the need for the computer to focus on specific areas and thus reducing human biases. To conduct the study, the team initiated the process by inputting brain scan data from both healthy males and females into AI programs. Additionally, the programs were informed about the biological sex associated with each brain scan. Through the utilization of intricate statistical and mathematical techniques, these models were programmed to enhance their intelligence through the accumulation of more data. As a result, they eventually developed the ability to independently identify biological sex. It is crucial to note that the programs were explicitly prohibited from relying on overall brain size and shape to make their determinations as stated by Louis. Based on the findings, it was determined that the models accurately classified the gender of the subjects in the brain scans with a success rate ranging from 92% to 98%. The machines relied on specific characteristics, such as the movement and direction of water within the brain tissue, to aid in their decision-making process. 
According to Jumbo Chen, Mississippi, a doctoral candidate at NYU Tandon School of Engineering and co-lead author of the study, these findings emphasize the significance of considering diversity in the examination of brain-related illnesses. Vara Lakshmi Bayanagari, a graduate research assistant at NYU Tandon School of Engineering and co-lead author of the study, emphasized the potential consequences of exclusively using men as the standard model for different disorders in history, which may result in the oversight of valuable insights. According to Bayanagari, it is important to note that although the AI tools can identify variations in brain cell structure, they cannot determine which gender is more inclined to possess specific characteristics. Additionally, she emphasizes that the research categorized gender based on genetic data and solely incorporated MRI scans from individuals who identify as cisgendered men and women. The authors have stated their intention to further investigate the evolution of sex-related brain structure differences, aiming to gain deeper insights into the potential influence of environmental, hormonal and social factors on these transformations. The study's funding was generously provided by grants R01NS119767, R01NS131458 and P41EB017183 from the National Institutes of Health, along with grant W81XWWH2010699 from the United States Department of Defense. So Ha Chung, PhD, and Yao Wang, PhD, were among the NYU Langone Health and NYU researchers who participated in the study alongside Louis Chen and Bayanagari. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.